But John Collins, real quick, I just wanted to say, I just think it's an interesting situation due to the fact that John Collins was a reclamation project and I knew that it was a, it was a big one. And what we talked about earlier was the Utah Jazz are open to the trading John Collins, sources told Andy Larson of the Salt Lake Tribune. The quote is, the 26-year-old big man has had the lowest on-court, off-court splits of any rotational player on the Utah Jazz. The team has been frustrated with his slow uptakes on learning the Jazz system on both ends of the floor, according to Larson. He's missed his third straight game. He is averaging 14 and a half points and 8.6 rebounds. He is shooting 38% from three, 48% from the field. He's like, look, it's, it's just frustrating because he's providing some floor spacing and some defending, but it's, he, it's just like, besides the solid shooting and rebounding, there isn't there. His iffy performance plus the $77 million he's over he's owed over the next three years is going to make it difficult for anyone who's going to want to take the seven-year bet. But I just find it weird that he's a guy who, and I know, I know what you think of John Collins, but worth three years removed from him being a 17 points per game score, or like really two years removed from him being 16, 17 points, four years removed in the 2019-20 season where he averaged 21.6 10 rebounds like almost two blocks and was like a like a borderline all-star so my thought is what's going on like you said is like the year before he was still a 19 and a half point per game scorer the year after that they added daniel galinari and bogdan and he was still an 18 points per game guy it's just i mean one person brought this up in my comment section that he hasn't been i think in 2020 was the year he got caught with peds like taking peds and everything's been down and i, I don't know how much correlation i just looked at john collins like let, let, you know i'm a fanboy of john collins and i always thought he was a guy who was just after you know him having his fall from grace i was like he's just a coach away he's a coach away from figuring it out and this is because like he has the freak athleticism you want from a guy who can play the four or the five he can finish through opponents and above the rim he's got great skill he's like the perfect style of play for a power forward in today's game he can space the floor from three attack the rim and defensively yeah his impact is nowhere near where it should be but the effort on that end isn't there but if it was like he could be good at defense but it just shows bad body language and doesn't give the best effort so i, I so the I think the whole thing to wrap it up is like I don't even know like if they're gonna trade John Collins I think they just give him a second round pick and say good luck good luck thanks for taking him off our hands it didn't work for us so hope you enjoy him cheers I don't know it's not a good situation in my opinion and I feel bad for the guy and I feel bad for the Jazz.